Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys are in for quite a treat on today's episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. And I would love to hear your comments and don't forget to like the post if you enjoy it. This color is 210. My husband stuck the sticker. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. All right, it's fine. In a spot. It's fine though, it's fine. All right, so we've got the right triangle symbol going here and everything looks good everything looks clear let me just do the autofocus all right some of those symbols over, down over here so we will put that under there all right all right Perfect. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. So I am trying to double check to make sure that I don't see any more. Um, the last color had some some knobbly bits on it, and we don't want any of those knobbly bits in our diamond painting. So just to make sure. Which I feel like takes a little bit of extra time, which I don't particularly care for, but it is what it is. I definitely, if I, like, if there was an option to buy Dreamer Designs uh, drills by themselves in the packaging, I would totally... I would totally opt into that because at least I know exactly... What I'm getting, there might be, there might be a few nabbly bits in there, but I think that nobody is perfect, so, um, I'm just gonna make sure that I am double checking these. On to this side now. The camera is literally like above my shoulder but close to my head and so I'm gonna try really hard not to bonk my head on it. So um I want to know if you have a favorite, I want to know if you have a favorite Dreamer Design Kit that you have completed or that is on your wish list. Now I am a huge fan of Anne Marie Bone, um, I love her her landscapes I think they look pretty amazing and I'm not really a landscapey kind of girl but like I really like them like every time I see them I'm like gosh that is gorgeous so gorgeous I just like fall in love with her her artwork and 
it's like Mandy Manzano, who, um, the artist for Diamond Art Club, who does all the lovely, lovely black line work. Like, I love the color coloring book feel that she does to all of her diamond paintings. I love how she colors her paintings. I think they look phenomenal. She does a really good job on choosing colors that blend well together. When I was a kid, I used to color all the time. I love to color. I love to draw. Um, when I was in high school, I took two years of art because I did not want to take a foreign language. And so I loved, I loved doing art. Um, it's always been a nice, a nice relaxing thing for me. So, um, I do want to say I love how well the colors are all blending together. I love how, um, how well they were able to manage the shadows, the highlights, and all of in all of this because sometimes on these smaller diamond paintings that are like 30 by 30s or you know smaller they don't always have enough colors if the ones that have little defects in them if you can't really see the little tiny holes in them so if I see those ones I will just put them aside with the trash but if I ever run out then I know I have extra um, in the trash bin to look through to make sure everything was trash everything you know is is um, non-usable if it is salvageable then I'll do that Now that I'm upside down with this, I have to look for top left triangles, which is a little bit more confusing. So confusing. I should be like, okay, today my guest star is Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> So, Captain Jack Sparrow, what do you like about the diamonds? <laughs> well, what I really love about it is it makes me think about my favorite drink, which is rum. But why is all the rum always gone? I know where it's gone. It's gone right there on your diamond painting. Sally? How is the rum on my diamond painting? It's rum color. It's rum color. <laughs> That's right. It's the color of rum. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your dad's a nutcase. <clears throat> How about... See, the thing is that a diamond painting, it needs drills and it's got to have the, the picture of savvy. But what it is, is freedom. <laughs> Okay, Elmo, what do you like about the diamond paintings? Oh, Elmo, so excited that you invited me here. Oh, Elmo likes all the light colors. And Elmo was so excited to see the, the, the passion of painting. And, and Elmo likes the twisted blossom, too. <laughs> That's funny, huh? <laughs> hmm. can I invite to the party to ask about diamond paintings? Kermit? Because you did invite um, Elmo, so uh, yeah. Um, 
You know, I, I, my favorite color is green, but you know, it's not easy being green, so I understand why there might not be some green in there. Actually, there is a little bit of green. Calm down, oh, Kermie. See, I love that. That's my favorite part. <laughs> um, Forrest Gump, what would you like to say about my diamond painting? Well, there's only one thing I can say about your diamond painting. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in the wide world. Except for, all my, of course, my, my Jenna. And you know, we had 12 Jennas. And I know you got more than 12 diamond paintings, but that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Who else we got? Mihon, Mihon Cookie. It looked like cookie. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> but I think maybe not eat diamond painting. Not be good to eat diamond painting. So instead, I think me eat a trail. <laughs> oh, yes. Most delicious dessert is a trail. <laughs> well, what about Aiden? You don't like Aiden? He's not most Ooh, delicious. You like Aiden too? Aiden. Me like Aiden. Me like Aiden. <laughs> Yes, most delicious treat is Aiden. Yes. He likes cookies, so... <laughs> he is a cookie. Actually, he likes Pop-Tarts, but... Pop-Tart cookie, same ooh, ooh, difference. Ooh, you say Pop-Tarts? Yes, Pop-Tarts also very, very refreshing <laughs> and very good dessert. Yes, yum, 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 yum. Me, like, also wonder if maybe there is, um, cookie Pop-Tart. Cookie Pop Tart be very good, yes. Mm. Yes, there is Cookie Pop Tart. <laughs> How about the character that wakes my 18 year old son out of bed every morning? <laughs> oh, that would be a wonderful guest star. It's Jason and the Argonauts. And I look at this thing right here and I think to myself, oh, it looks just like the river that we'd travel down to try to wake up Jason in the morning and say, Jason, you've got to get up. Your people are dependent on you. That's why we've got this diamond painting. We're dependent on you to keep placing those diamonds because everybody knows if you don't place the diamonds, it'll never get done. <laughs> I'm like in tears laughing so hard right now. Like Who else we got, babe? Hmm, you know, uh, Kermit is not the only one who likes me. Mm. Oh, I look at this and I think, hmm, me thinks it's very nice. I like diamond painting. Oh, makes me think of Dagobah. Mm, my home planet. <laughs> very nice indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Yoda. You seek Yoda. <laughs> Find him in well. Be patient. You'll be with him soon. Mm, look in there very, very closely. You might find him by the straw, by the swamp. Mm -hmm. mm. You talk with when we argue. <laughs> I know. I look at this and I think it's very nice. And you know, since I see many different types of art, I, I don't know how how do you say it's very, very pretty, very beautiful, you know, and is 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 nice. I, I like very much, you know, because sometimes there's not words to really say, but it's just look and you know. You know, and you knowing this, you knowing it. <laughs> Is there anybody else in there that wants to talk about yeah, diamond painting? Are we all out of guest stars now? <laughs> Oh, 
we are we all out of guest stars, babe? Oh, no, just, oh. oh yeah. I don't know what they have told you, but I look. I look. Sometimes I look, and sometimes I don't look. But how can you look at this and not think to yourself? Ah, it's very nice. I very much like it. You know, I looked me right side up, but from her is upside down. Maybe it's one of these things you can look at it from any direction and it still looks good, right? Of course, right. So, you know, all comes together. Many different possibilities. Maybe it's one, maybe not one. Who knows? You will have to tune in to find out, no? Oh, look at this one. This one's not lovely at all. Wow. What about that? Ah! Oh! It's trying to get away. It's trying to hide. Look at that. It's all toe up. Alright, well, that one's garbage. Starting to find a lot more garbage. So, I have to watch what I'm putting down on my canvas because that would not work out at all. So, I live with a man that has many faces or Okay, many voices, not faces, many voices. Well, you know what? Sometimes he has many faces because he will go and shave and every time he shaves, he comes out with a different a different part of his face shaved in a different way. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes, like one time he came out with the top left shaved off and the, and the bottom right shaved off. And then the next time he shaved half his face, so if you turned your face, if he, he turned his face to the side, one way it looks like he has facial hair, the other side it looks like he doesn't. He's done a mustache by itself, a goatee by itself. Um, I don't even know. He's done so many different combinations. I'm like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> So he is he is a character and it has been a joy to be married to him going on six years now. Um whenever I get mad at him, I tell him like I've already told him, like, if you do any of your voice impersonate impressions, then I can't be mad at you. So I've, I've basically given him the keys to the castle. Like, if you want to end our argument, all you have to do is speak to me in a different voice. And because I, I can't be mad at Kermit the Frog, and I, or I can't be mad at Elmo, or one of the many other wonderful voices that he does impressions for so but he doesn't you know he's 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 good because he doesn't like use that very often he doesn't use that very often to get out of us arguing so that's nice um, So it's always nice that he doesn't just, you know, use, like, I don't want to argue about it, so I'm going to use my voice to get out of arguing. Nope. He doesn't, he, he actually doesn't use it very often. <laughs> like, I've given him the keys, but he doesn't, he doesn't use the keys very often, which proves that he likes to argue. <laughs> he loves to argue, I think. I, I really do. And. Well, <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I think to myself, the thing that really makes me calm down would be to sit right underneath one of them trees right there down yonder, look down at that swan there, and think, you know, what a wonderful swan it is. But 
You start to spend too much time, you get the sun on you, you don't have your whiskey or nothing like that, and you start thinking, what am I doing out here? Because that swan looked like a like a foxy lady or something like that, you know, and I start wondering, like, what is going on? What I might be a little touched in the head. But, you know, I'm, I'm blessed that I have a wife that will be understanding of me being appreciative of her craft because I sure as, well, you know, I couldn't do something like that. There's lots I could do, but it sure is not that. Let me tell you right now. Is Arnold Schwarzenegger ready or no? Oh. So, what was he saying? Um, there's 24 hours in a day. Say you sleep for 8 hours, then there's still 16 hours left of your day. Say you work for 8 hours, there's still 8 hours left of your day. Say you spend 7 hours driving around and shopping and doing other things, there's still 1 hour left of your day. Imagine what you could get accomplished if you spend that 1 hour a day diamond painting. Imagine the diamond paintings you could get done if you spend just 1 hour a day. I don't know why people come up with excuses at 24 hours in a day. Only 1 hour of those 24 hours. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Emma so happy to be here again. Emma likes coming. It's Emma Emma gets so excited to see how all the diamond paintings get all the diamonds get put on there. Yeah. You, what's Elmo's what's Elmo's favorite yeah. color diamond? <laughs> <laughs> There's a gonna be some sparkly red in here, Elmo. Oh, oh, sparkly red. That's the best kind of red. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like red. Oh, but I like to know. Are there some green in there too? Because green is a great color too. Don't you agree with me? I think green is a little bit underrated, don't you think so? I do. <laughs> don't you think green is a great color? Don't you think green Red could... and like the and green are like. Oh, but what is your favorite color? Red. Red is your favorite color. Oh, that's a good color too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what mommy's favorite color is? Yeah, I am okay. Ooh, what's mommy's favorite color? Green. Green? No, I think I think mommy's favorite color just two. I think mom likes black and white. Um, Maybe purple. Mommy has a favorite color. Oh, what's mommy's favorite color? But it's not just one color. Not just oh oh, it's rainbow. Yes. Boy, I think that motorcycle was farting when it went by. Oh, you never know what to expect when you see a farting motorcycle. They might fart right in your face, and then they'll sing a little song about it too. I went down the road one little day, and I said to myself, little hay. Say what? Yeah, I got it. I was a motorcycle riding around, and then I thought I'd fart all over the town. I made my little noise over here, and then I went and yeah. farted in your ear. I don't know. <laughs> you never know what Say you might what? get. You open up the door, and all kinds of things might come flying out without you even expecting it. And then you wonder how that how you're going to get them all back into in the first place. You don't even know where they came from or where they even go. Again. You just stopped talking to Elmo? Elmo loves talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Elmo just loves that so much. Say yeah. hi, Elmo. Hi, Abby. Yeah. Abby is one of Elmo's great friends. <laughs> That's Aiden's favorite um, video that he watches. Says hi Elmo, hi Abby. He plays that over and over again. It is amazing. 
So my husband does all the voices. And every now and then I start to pick up on some of his silly voices, but I, I really am. Did, I don't. Did you just say amazing? Because I've heard some amazing things in my life. Let me tell you what. I've seen some things I've never seen nobody say nothing before. But I'm telling you right now, when you've seen something amazing and you thought you saw everything amazing that you could ever see, all of a sudden someone come down the road, they say like, Man, shoot, I've seen something amazing. You ain't seen nothing amazing before. Yes, I have. I'm telling you right now I did. Man, you you be a lie. You be lying to me right now. I'm not. T I'm telling you the bold-faced truth. That's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> See, I honestly don't have to put any kind of slow motion voices or high speed motions because I could just have him change his voice myself. Oh, I know, because sometimes you just look over there and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> 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 you are a nutcase. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm afraid to admit that we've been married five years. I'm going to be like, what? I can't even see. I'm tearing up so much from laughing. I should get you a, a voice acting job. Jeez. Hey, if you guys want to offer him a voice acting job, get a hold of me. Instagram, Facebook, uh, anything. <laughs> hold the. You can do Donald Duck? <laughs> <laughs> Since when can you do Donald Duck? I just thought of it. <laughs> I've never heard you do Donald Duck. <laughs> Ever. Can you try another one? My husband has been holding out on me, you guys. <laughs> oh my. George, I can't do Goofy, though. <laughs> Well, who was that? <laughs> that was my attempt at Goofy. Mickey Mouse is like super... Oh, Mickey Mouse is... I think I Walt actually did a voice Mickey, too. Really? He was pitching the idea. <laughs> like, he's like, hi, guys! Like, really high like this. Like, whoa! Like, but I think his name was Mortimer at first. <laughs> you know? Like, Daddy! Mickey Can you be Minnie, Minnie Mouse? Mouse? <laughs> well, I, I guess I could be Minnie Mouse, but that would be a little bit different, wouldn't it? Oh, oh I know. Wait. Who knows Davy Bop? How does she sound like I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know how she sounds. This is something different, completely different. I don't even know. Your voice is like changing as we speak. It's, it's something called puberty. <laughs> oh my god. Do another one, please. Oh another my one. god, you guys, my kids are thoroughly entertained by this. They love it. That's what I'm writing. We got them both talking. My my three year olds over here like yapping at me, smacking me. What you doing? That one has some kind of marking on it. I don't like the flaws in the diamonds. I like the flawless ones. What? You expect them to be perfect? Not everything can be perfect, you know, like Mary Poppins, who's practically perfect in every way. 
Well, I expect for the amount of money that people spend on these, that they are like Mary Poppins. Well, at least you don't have popping drills then, don't you? Isn't that something to be happy about? Well, the reason I don't have popping drills is because I'm making sure I ain't putting these ones with the tabs on them. On, but I have to examine every diamond before I place it. Mm. I could see how oh my be, god, it's a, it's a speck. I don't even know what the what? heck that is. Oh, no, not that again. A speck. It, let's go. Some trash in it. I'll tell you that. It does have some trash. Okay. And that needs to be turned down a little bit. It's way too loud. It, it's one thing to hear my own video in the background while you're watching to make sure all the corrections are made. But it is something entirely different when other people's videos are being part of it. And if you don't credit the the video, then you get in some trouble. Yes, you've Bowser. always got to make sure that you credit the video. Why are you Because if you don't credit the video, then the person who should have the credit doesn't have it. Oh, Isn't that right? Yes. It's all right? It's all right? It's all right? I don't know if it's all right, but it's right. Well, if it's not left, it's right. <laughs> well, jeez. Oh, I'm just wondering, do you ever think that maybe your voice is going to change when you get older? I don't know if they can hear you with it. Well, I don't know if you heard it or not, but sometimes your voice gets a little bit different when you get older. Does it? Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Do you know? You know? You don't know. Oh, that's okay. Ah, my husband loves Disney movies, so if you ever want to hire him to do voiceovers, let me know. So I want you to tell them the story about when you were in Disneyland. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> many, many moons ago. Many, many moons ago, when the light touched down on the water. Oh my when god. And sprinting deer came from far off mountain. Mountain top. Stretch. Sorry, this Very is going to be a three-hour whipping chat. <laughs> three-hour whipping chat. But when sun come into sky and set down into water. Do you know what I want you to tell the story about? No. I don't know. But I do know. <laughs> you don't even let me when say. When Prancing Deer came down Prancing River and said to himself, Look up in sky. Did you cut yourself there? I cut myself where then? I wear there because... Did you cut yourself right there? Are you going to... You're hanging out there. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes the... Maybe it's just a shadow. Maybe, yes, uh, because of the shadow. I moon. want you to tell a story about not a blue moon and whatever the heck you're going blue with moon. is. Blue moon, very serious. Because okay, I get only it. under special circumstances. I want you blue to tell moon. them the story about the time that you were doing the voice of Captain Jack Sparrow. That is the story I want you to tell them. Oh, my dad always tells that story. I don't care that your dad always tells the story. You're going to tell the story because your dad is not on my show. We were <coughs> in Disneyland in our annual trip that we always follow. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it a tall tale story? Is that why your dad always tells my the story? My dad does tell some tall tales, I, I will say is that. that. Is it not a, is, is it not a true I, story? I is that why? I don't happening, and it seems like it's one of those things that you would remember. Um... So you don't ever remember doing Captain Jack Sparrow while at Disneyland? Yeah, and then he says that a bunch of kids started, you know, like circling around me instead of actual Jack Sparrow. And, um, heh, I remember that I actually went during Halloween and they would tell you that if you're going to dress up, that you should have some creativity and dress up then a character different than what you would actually see a character in Disneyland and so a lot of people would because I dressed up as you know quote unquote Jack Sparrow but it's like you can't be Jack Sparrow I would have to just say no 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 I'm not Jack Sparrow I'm just a private here privateer 
you know, because I couldn't be Jack Sparrow, but everybody kept thinking I was like Jack Sparrow. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not Jack Sparrow, you know, I'm just dressed like a pirate, that's all. So that's, there had to be a differentiation there. But that was, that was that. And did you meet Jack Sparrow? I did. I did. At that, that time? Yeah. Mm hmm when you were dressed up as the as pirate. Jack Sparrow, as... I met Jack Sparrow, and we looked <laughs> like we were brothers. <laughs> did you guys take a picture together? Yes, we did. Do you, you have said picture? Um, I know so. I have. I know I have pictures of me with Jack Sparrow, but I don't think I have the picture of me as Jack Sparrow with Jack Sparrow. <laughs> what? Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. How do you fail at keeping the picture of that? I don't know. I mean, I think maybe um, it was one of those situations where. Um, back in the day, when you were back developing camera film, you only had a certain number of exposures, and if you weren't um, uh, prepared ahead of time, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute, I don't have any more film, I ran out of, you know, um, you know, say you only have like 24 exposures on a reel, or whatever, and then you've used your 24th one, well, and all here of a sudden, we go with your great... Arnold impression again. Oh, yeah, 24 <laughs> exposures, well, that's something completely different, but anyways, um, yeah, so then you have this great photo that you want to take, but oh no, you can't because you've run out of exposures. There's only so many in your throwaway camera, for example. So I think it was a situation like that. So. And you want to know how lame that is? It's so lame, you guys. Now... I don't know how true that story is because my dear old daddy-in-law likes to tell some tales, okay? He's a tale tailor. He's tailored to tell the tales, as my husband would say. But my husband does do a good impression, so I'd like to believe that it's a good possibility. See, after I'm done listening to all his voices, I don't even know what voice is my own anymore. <laughs> I lose my own voice. I can't. I, I start. I, I have a hard time not picking up accents sometimes um, when talking to people. So. I don't know why that happens, but it seems to happen to me. My husband's like, what just happened? Why are you talking like that? I don't know. I don't know how to talk anymore. I think sometimes the way that certain people say certain things, it might be interesting and affectatious. Um, you know, that uh, you start to want to say it the way that they're saying it, which with this app that Aiden has that's teaching him all these different words, I keep thinking that he's going to learn English with a bit of a different accent because it <laughs> says like, egg instead of egg. And then it hmm. will say broccoli with such a melancholy tone to like broccoli. <laughs> it has such an upbeat thing like banana, apple, egg. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> Why does it say broccoli? <laughs> so depressed. She's going to be like, Dad, I want some broccoli and an egg. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You want broccoli and egg for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Egg. Yeah. Egg. 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 <laughs> like what? 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 Don't. No. Don't. Don't. You know what? 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 You're going to get. You never know. No. No. What you. My get, son get. likes to repeat sound, like repeat things. He gets a little obsessed. Cheat egg. Cheat egg. See, he won't say egg like you say. He's gonna say cheat egg. Cheat egg. Chi yogurt. Yo 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 yogurt. <laughs> what? Want a drink? 
You're so lazy. You can't even sit up and get your own drink. You gotta just like. <laughs> Hi, how can I help you? How can you help me? I need some help. How can I help you? Did you, ever, did you ever tell them about Blackie? <laughs> no, I did not tell them about my sister trying to freak me out and make me think I hear in ghosts. My sister has a recording of, like, she, she records activity in her house. And we were all sitting in the living room talking and she said did you just look over to me and say Becky and I said no what the heck <laughs> and then she played it back and we could hear the voice say Becky <laughs> and I was like that wasn't me what are you talking about that's freaking me out right now um but we were like laughing and like talking you know like so i think she said it or something was it that her that said it andrew but she tried to let us all believe that that it was a disembodied voice like she didn't say it and i know i didn't say it because i would remember if i said it <laughs> she tried to convince me that i said it <laughs> Oh, we, we were laughing up a storm. Scared the crap out of my knees. My knees would, like, went downstairs and wouldn't come back up. But I was actually editing a video um, last week. And while I was talking, a cough came through. And it, it sounded like me. But... I was talking and I can't talk and cough at the same time. You just can't. I mean, you can, but not not talking as clearly. See, I when I when I cough, I breathe in and then I cough out. So that means that I have to stop what I'm doing, stop what I'm talking about and take a breath. And so when we played it back, it was just so weird cuz it was like over the top of my voice. I think that someone called me while I was recording and it somehow glitched my my sound on my phone um, even though like the ringers off and the and the tones are all off so I other than that I can't explain how that would even happen um, so it was a little bit freaky uh, we were editing it in, in the middle of the night and I'm like, I, I can't like this is freaking me out. I need to I need to wake up with fresh mind with a fresh mind tomorrow and you know, then we'll We'll work on it again, but I can't right now. It's just it's like freaking me out <laughs> So that's what I think happened um, I thought it kind of sounded a little bit like my mother, to be quite honest with you, but, you know, I think she would know better to, to cough in my presence because she knows I would freak out. Ugh. But, did you say Apple? Apple. I'm just trying to get through this color and then I'm going to end for the day. Seems like there's a lot of these drills. You don't know how to do that? You don't know how to talk like that? No? Never mind. Bring that up. Bring that up. Bye. Bye. Why are 
not talking like that. Because I don't you want to talk like that. But I don't know how to talk like that. I don't know do those voices like that. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes if you just talk her through the nose, then it kind of sound like that. How do you talk through your nose? I don't know. I don't know. I can't talk through my nose? What? No, I can't talk through my nose. You're a weirdo. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Isn't that a song? Or maybe a uh, tray used talking like a robot. <laughs> robot. Ro Ro robot. A tray you can be so loud and you say, A tray you need to keep it down. You, like, I need you to whisper, and then he'll be, Okay, I'm whispering! <laughs> it's like so louder than so like, The loudest whisperer ever! ever. Like, geez, this kid can project. You could he hear him whisper. across the library if he whispers like that. Oh my oh, lord. Geez. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content. What's that? Macho Man Randy Savage knows! That's like a little bit of uh, Cookie Monster and, you know, I'm the boy, but... What just happened? <laughs> what was that? The Bone Crusher's ready! Are you ready? It sounds like, ah, I can't even hear myself talk! I don't, I don't know. I, I, no, I don't know like if that's... I don't know if that sounds like... Randy Sam is that Randy Sam? This this um uh NCO when he was deployed he, he used to say like Okay everybody we're gonna do some PT that's physical training for those of you who don't know and it's gonna be a one way ticket to ouch down <laughs> So I hope you're ready because I'm ready. Let's go <laughs>